The opposition in Namibia is calling on relevant authorities to revive the education system. According to Landless People's Party, LPM leader Bernardo Swatboy, the country's education system has become irrelevant and outdated. Swatboy says the country's education system is not rooted in society's aspirations and is not able to answer the current needs of local communities. He called for reform in the sector, saying it should align with the country's fourth industrial revolution aspirations by introducing coding, robotics and artificial intelligence into the public education system. Mewa, the executive director of education, arts and culture, Sanet Stenkamp, maintained that the new school curriculum promotes the holistic development of pupils. To speak a little more on that and give us further insight, we're joined by Henny Sebeb, Chief Strategist of the Landless People's Movement. Thank you very much for giving us your time. Uh, th th thank you very much. Uh, All right. In let, let's, let's hear um, the rationale for this call, uh, especially when the minister is saying the curriculum that you have now covers all that the children need. Look, uh, our workshop, in fact, we had a seminar at, at the Landless People's Movement of Namibia uh, last week, Wednesday. One of the critical shortcomings that we identified was that there was no proper adequate learner readiness and the new curriculum as it was passed was not accompanied by relevant teaching materials or tools of trade, as we call it. For example, lack of textbooks, lack of classrooms, uh, inadequate teacher training, uh, our education system having an ability not to move from theory into practice. So basically what our education system promotes currently at the secondary school phase is parent learning, memorizing for the test, memorizing for exams, and that is why we have experienced a high failure rate. Out of 38,000 grade 11 and 12 students that sat for exams last year, we only could achieve a pass rate of 3,000 to 5,000. This is dismal if we look at the education input budget that we are annually budgeting for the secondary school education system in this country. What is the government saying? And beyond um, your leader making this call, do you have plans to uh, push for actual implementation of changes in the education system? Exactly. That's why we have to call the critical key stakeholders so that we could identify what are the gaps and where we can fill it. And especially we were calling upon the private sector to come into and play a role. Imagine we are talking of the fourth industrial revolution and we are still at the opening of the school year teaching thousands of learners under tents and under trees. This is unacceptable, unacceptable in a country with a lower population such as uh, Namibia. So we are going to give a report next week to the president of the country so that they can take concomitant actions to rectify the situation. This is a planning problem, per se. It is a planning problem. Why do we have to have same problems in January, in February, beginning of, of, of each school year? And what, 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 what would you say to those that are arguing it's, that it's not primarily the curriculum or the system itself, but the people who are responsible for educating the young ones? I'm talking about the teachers now. Not our teachers, uh, to be fair on their side, uh, are, are not left with proper tools of trade. For example, we don't have in rural areas now, countryside, uh, teachers don't have projectors, they don't have laptops, they don't have Wi-Fi. For example, if you have to teach about an earthquake, you need to go on YouTube, Google, to also to show our kids how it is being done, but these things are not accompanying and our teachers, the electricity is also a challenge. Rural electrification, hunger, malnutrition, all these things are adding up to, to our teachers, not pushing their levels up to the optimal level. And, and, and this is widely across Namibia. And the urban, rural, white, I mean, gap is so wide, inequality gap is so high, so that uh, the urban children, even now, if you look at, for example, in Bendu, the, the, the schools, 
that uh, private schools are well resourced, teachers are well resourced, as okay. compared to same teachers in the FM centers. There is okay. that huge inequality, and for a small country, we must rectify this urgently. I guess that's where the LPM uh, comes in. Uh, we're looking forward to hearing the outcome of your meeting with the president. Thank you for speaking with us. Thank you very much.